Uh, Bill Taranto here from Maple Leaf Enterprises uh, with a quick tip of the day um, here. Just one thing I see quite often is uh, when you're doing things inside the database, whether it's an Oracle database, whether it's ASM, whether it's a container database, always make sure you have two sessions running, right? The session that you're going to perform your commands in uh, and then another session that you're going to do your operation where you could basically tail the alert lock. Uh, you could find a lot of things out on what's going on with what it is that you're doing uh, within the alert log. So it's always best to kind of tail it when you are planning on doing anything, especially if you're doing maintenance or you're trying to do something like, for example, in this particular situation here, um, I'm in an ASM, uh, Oracle ASM. I'm in the grid user, grid infrastructure. And uh, I have a disk group that is dismounted, right? So I am going to go in and mount it. So what I'm going to do is go SQL plus as, and then make sure you sys ASM, right? Because we are in ASM. Um, there's a couple of ways you could do it. You could actually go into ASM CMD and do an LS. And if the disk group's not there, um, then you know it's dismounted. You can also go in here. I prefer to do this because this actually will tell you uh, exactly this will tell you exactly what the state is right it's dismounted um, so we want to go ahead and mount it now before I just go in and just arbitrarily just mount this the best thing to do is have another session as you can see I have another session here below um, and is the grid user who owns the ASM. And the easiest thing to do here is uh, do dollar oracle underscore uh, base, because it's always in the Oracle base. And you have to CD, of course. Um, uh, and then it's in Diag. And you can create, what I normally do as well here is I usually create a alias that I can type in like alert uh, and get me to where I need to do to go with this. Okay, and then you get into the directory and you want the one that's in trace, right? And there's a bunch of files in there. We got a core dump blah, blah, blah. Uh, this thing can get pretty messy at times. Uh, often too, what I like to do is I like to go in this directory or at least have scripts uh, that go in that when ASM gets restarted that these files kind of get squashed down and put into a smaller file and they kind of get archived off. Just another nice maintenance thing to do. Uh, and then we want the log file, which it's the only one in there. So we just do tail. I like just to do tail minus F uh, star dot log. All right. And then you have here uh, what's going on, blah, blah, blah. You can actually go and look and see if there was any errors or why it's dismounted, this, that, and the other thing. Easiest thing I always like to do um, is just give it a shot and see if it will mount. So I'm just going to do alter this group. C or pointing disk mount. Pretty simple, right? And then at least I know it's going to come in here. It's going to tell me what uh, number, what the LUNs are, blah, blah, blah. And if there are any errors, it's going to spit them out and say whatever. And it doesn't, but this actually mounted fine. It's successful and it all works. So then all we have to do is just take this and we can actually rerun that and everything should say mounted. Okay, so just a, a good tip and good thing, good practice. I mean, I do it every time. If I'm actually going to run anything from the SQL plus command line, I will always tell the alert log or always have uh, some session, whether it's ASM, whether it's an Oracle database. If I'm going to run any SQL, I always constantly want to have that alert log tailed. Uh, it's really important because, it, you know, again, if something is going to happen, it's going to blast out in the alert log. 
Um, you're probably going to get, you know, you're going to get your usual message in here, which is, you know, aura, blah, 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 blah. But at least I know I have the alert, like I can actually see what's going on at the time, right? In this instance, I mean, everything was clean and it looks fine, which uh, is great. But I can actually see that my process is my Gmon process has started. I can see what, um, you know, what LUNs actually opened up and what the allocation units are and see everything is clean and there's no, uh, there, there's no block corruption or there's nothing I need to do to kind of, you know, go in here and maybe clean this up if, if something was an issue, right? It would, I, it would all be in here and, and at my fingertips, I'd be able to see it right away. So anyway, just very, very common tip, but it, amazingly and surprisingly, uh, I've seen people who are supposed DBAs for 10, 15 years, and they still don't even do that. Um, but so it's just a good practice and just, um, you know, please always do that because it just makes sense.